So hello everybody and happy Monday. If you are trying to learn Power BI or if you want to get inspired, it's actually very useful to have samples, sample data sets, sample Power BI files or reports. And that is exactly what we are going to look into because they are just one click away from you. So let me show you. Okay, so if you want to practice, there's nothing better to have, you know, cur curated data sets for you and also, you know, to look at other people's work and see how they do things. And all that stuff you can get just one click away from Power BI Desktop. Let me show you. If you open Power BI Desktop and then you go to Help and then Examples, here there is something called Examples. If you click on it, it will take you, take you to the Microsoft documentation and here you will see get samples from, from Power BI. This is an overview of what they are giving you, but then they have a dedicated page, documentation page for each of the reports. So they have, for example, the COVID that they launched. This is just for the US. And here they talk about, I guess, how they are collecting the data, which is quite nice. They have a customer profitability sample. I think those are a little bit old. I did spend analysis samples. I remember that I've seen them like for the longest time. So I think they're quite old. And that's why the look and feel is not so polished as what they are producing, at least Microsoft is producing at the moment. You have the human resources samples, you have opportunity analysis, procurement analysis, retail analysis. So if you are in one of these areas, it's actually quite nice to download some of this work and see what KPIs do they use, how do they do calculations, what do they measure. You know, it might inspire you to do things a little bit different. And everything is available for download. So you have in the first page at the bottom, you have here all the Power BI, no, not there, this is just the example. You have down here all the Power BI examples, and here you have everything in Excel, in a zip file. I don't know why you don't give a zip file with the Power BI files, but you have both for download. So that is quite nice. I do have another resource for you, actually. Uh, let me show you. And this is for the latest and greatest, super polished, Microsoft Power BI files, the Gartner files that they create. So Guy in a Cube, they have in their GitHub sample reports, the COVID that you saw on the samples. They have a human resources sample, which is not very polished, but they have this life expectancy and sales that is super polished. Let me show you. So the life expectancy is this one. You've probably seen it. They show this on the Gartner in the last on the last Gardner, like Tableau versus Power BI thingy. So they have this here, so you can download it and take a look at what they've done. They do have also the sales. You've probably seen these reports. So they are like super polished <laughs> and you can steal with grace. Okay, so if you see something here that you like, it is Microsoft, take it, why not? So. It will give you definitely inspiration about how to do stuff. Um, so I'm going to give you the links, all these links down below, so you can just go there and download the stuff. But remember that under help, then example samples, there you have everything that you need. Just one click away, except for the guy in a cube stuff. So that you need my link or, you know, link to the GitHub, guy in a cube GitHub. So what I'm planning to do on my next video, it is probably going to be part of week, it's the second week of the month, we'll see how that goes, but I am thinking about rebuilding this thing. Um, so I'll show you how things were done and I don't know, maybe do different things differently depending on what they've done and what I would do, we'll see. So maybe in the next video we will build that. Let me know in the comments if you think that is a good idea. It could be a fun exercise. Something that I do want to tell you, once you see, you know, when you see these super polished reports, you might get a little bit of anxiety. <laughs> it's like, how on earth I am going to produce these gorgeous looking things? I want to show you something. Take a look. You see this, go to page, go to page background, and I am going to make the page background disappear. You see, 
And this is how a report looks without a nice page background. Which basically is still nice looking, but it's not the same. Well, let's do it again. Look at that. Right, you see? And then look at that. Okay. So, if you are feeling a little bit anxious as how am, am I going to create those things, you think create the visuals, create the skeleton of what you want, place things as you think that it might be good. And then if you have an UX, you know, a user experience guy or user interface guy in your company, ask them for help. And if you have like a marketing team, ask them for help to create, you know, this is a background, it's a background. And then beautiful colors, they can help you with that. If you take that away, and let's, if we, how about, let me show you. Oh, they have cord, they hard coded the colors, okay, so I can't do that. But you know what I mean? So focus on getting the report that is fast, that is technically correct, and you know, that is easy to navigate and all that stuff. And then talk to somebody that knows a little bit about design and the user interface and have them polish the final stuff. You don't need to know how to do everything and it's not expected either. So yeah, it, it is just a little bit of making another report. You see the difference? Quite cool. Anyhow, I'm making this video too long. I will see you again on Wednesday unless they you know, they release the uh, October version of the Parvey desktop. In that case, I, either I do an extra video or, or that will be the next video, I don't know. And I will see you again when that happens, basically. So take care, enjoy these files, go download them, check them out, get inspired. Um, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.